Hello and welcome back to my channel. Last time you saw me we were in Santiago and today we're going to the Atacama Desert to stay in San Pedro which is an amazing town and to see Moon Valley and the geysers as well as the landscapes. I'll see you in a minute. Welcome back. So we flew from Santiago to Calmara Airport and I was very lucky on the flight because I got a window seat on the right hand side of the plane and the views I got of the Andes mountains were spectacular. The people on the other side of the plane were very jealous. From Calmara Airport we took the bus into San Pedro and the, on the way you could see why it's called the driest place on earth. There's just desert for miles and miles but the most stunning scenery. I've never seen anything like it before. So we arrived at San Pedro and again I have never seen anywhere like this. It was like being in an old western film. Just the dirt track roads and all the dust and the beautiful buildings. And inside these buildings were little shops and little restaurants. It was just an absolute delight. In the middle of San Pedro, they have a big square. And one day when we were there, they had a craft market there, uh, running there, which was really nice. But what I really liked was the market they had there. And you could just wander around. And they got all these lovely, I suppose, mainly tourist souvenirs. I myself was looking for cocoa leaves because I was a little bit worried about getting altitude sickness but there were so many other things there. I brought myself a hat um, but there was jumpers, toys, trinkets, lots of souvenirs and the people were so warm and friendly. It was amazing just to wander around and have a look. And outside in the market they had their church. Now, if you're a, fit, a fan of Kill Bill, like, like I am, these white churches in the middle of the desert are just, just remind me of the film and it's absolutely fabulous and we were able to walk around inside. Such a beautiful town. Honestly, it's like somewhere, you've never been anywhere like this before in your life. It's magical. So from San Pedro, you can take a couple of excursions and one of them that we took was to Moon Valley or Valle de la Luna and there it's just this landscape that looks just like the surface of the moon and apparently astronauts have been known to train here because it looks so much like the moon but it's just breathtaking it's just this dry barren landscape with all these structures on there it's absolutely incredible On our way back from the Valley of the Moon, we uh, stopped at this village that, which was in the middle of the desert and it had another little white church and you could just have a look inside. And it was just wonderful just to see how people lived in these little cottages in this village. <clears throat> and I did get to try alpaca. And the guy made it on the barbecue with this beautiful seasoning. It was amazing. So you must try the alpaca while you're there. Now one thing I would like to speak about is altitude sickness when you're in this region. Uh, and it will affect everybody differently. And in our group some people weren't affected at all. And some people were affected quite badly. One lady was 
it was you know bedridden for a couple of days with it so i think everybody will find that it affects them differently personally i find it very difficult to catch my breath and you really couldn't walk very fast so you really have to walk at a very slow pace and try and breathe deeply but there's not really a lot that you can do about it the one thing I found that helped was drinking full fat coke which I don't like but I did drink it along with cocoa leaves and you, you can buy these on the markets and you just chew them in the side of your mouth and they for me they personally made all the difference to my trip but it is a very weird feeling like not being able to breathe properly and it can make you feel quite dizzy and a bit sick so you know just be mindful of that and make sure that you have plenty of fluids and that before you go get there that you have plenty of fluids and you're fully hydrated give yourself the best chance of not suffering too much. So the next morning we got up nice and early to head out to the Tatia Gazers. So this is an area that is surrounded by volcanic activity and where you get lots of steam and hot water springs just springing from the earth. I have to say it was absolutely stunning and I could have spent days there just watching it. It was one of those things where you can just sit there and be mesmerized by each point and how the water's bubbling and the colors it creates on the earth it's amazing i would also say it was very cold there and we had been warned to wrap up warm but we just thought oh <laughs> we're from britain we know what cold is no it was really cold so to wrap up warm for when you go there but it is absolutely amazing our short stop in San Pedro in the Atacama Desert wasn't really long enough but when you're on a tour things move quite fast would I go back again definitely I would love to spend more time there and you know get to see more of the area it was I'm sure there's so many more things to do like lakes and more scenery but it really is wonderful and I have to say I absolutely love the gazers it was it was just everything it was amazing so from here we're crossing the border to Bolivia and so next time when I see you I will be across the road in Bolivia so thank you for watching and I will see you next time ciao